In this video, we're going to be looking at how to play PlayStation 2 games on your Android device. Now, this is going to be a quick step-by-step -step tutorial, so let's get started. So here I am on my Android device and the first thing you want to do is create a folder where you're going to be placing your PlayStation 2 files. I would recommend creating a folder in your downloads folder called PlayStation 2 or PS2 like I've done over here. And once you've created this folder, you want to place two files inside of it. The first file is going to be your PlayStation 2 BIOS. Now, what this file is, is a copy of the operating system, which is inside of your PlayStation 2 console. And this file is required for you to run the PlayStation 2 emulator at a later stage. You can easily create the PS2 BIOS file using your PlayStation 2 console, but a quicker way to do it would be just to Google PlayStation 2 BIOS, and you can easily find a link which will allow you to download the PlayStation to BIOS files. Once the BIOS files are downloaded, what you really are looking for is one of these bin files. I think the first one is the Japanese PlayStation 2 console, and this one over here is the USA PlayStation 2 console. Any of these would work. Just make sure you have the BIOS file downloaded and ready for you to import within your PlayStation 2 emulator. The next file you're going to need to get ready is going to be an ISO or ROM file of the game that you want to play. What ISO files are, are basically a virtual copy of a physical CD, and this will allow you to play the actual game within the Android emulator. In order to get the ISO file, you can use a disk reader and extract the file from one of your PlayStation 2 games. Another way to do it would be just to find a download online once you have these two files ready, your PlayStation 2 BIOS files, as well as an ISO or ROM of the PS2 game that you're trying to play, you can move on to the next step, which is installing the PlayStation 2 emulator on your Android. So first of all, you want to launch the Google Play Store. There are several PlayStation 2 emulators available on Android. However, the one I personally use and is most recommended is an emulator called Ether SX2. So you just want to search for this emulator and it's spelled like this. Make sure you've selected the correct app and then you can go ahead and click on install. And you just want to wait for Ether SX2 install onto your Android device. Once it's finished installing, go ahead and click on play. You're going to see a welcome screen for the Ether SX2 emulator. You just want to click on next. In the next page, it's just going to give you some disclaimers. Click on next again. Next up, you're going to see the settings page. If it's your first time using the emulator, I would recommend just keeping everything at the default. If you're getting any errors or lag, you can always come back and change some of these settings. However, for now, you can just go ahead and click on next. In the next screen, they're going to ask you to import the BIOS file, which we downloaded in our first step. So just select import BIOS over here, and you want to navigate to the PS2 folder, which you placed your BIOS files. For me, this is going to be my downloads folder. I'm going to open up the PS2 folder and then the PS2 BIOS folder. And as I said before, we're going to be using one of the downloaded bin files. This one over here corresponds to the US PS2 console. However, it won't make a difference if you're using a BIOS file from a different region. As you can see, our bin file has been imported. So you just want to select it again and then click on next. Over here, they're going to ask you to select the directory or folder where you placed the ROM file or ISO file of the game. So just click on the plus icon over here. And again, you want to navigate to your PlayStation 2 folder you created. And down here, you want to select allow access to PS2. Select allow again, and then you want to click on next. You're going to see that the setup is complete and you just want to click on finish. 
Now, for some reason, the emulator was unable to detect the ISO file of the game. If this happens, just click on the folder icon at the bottom. And then you want to select the actual ISO file which you have in the folder. So I'm just going to select my game over here. And as you can see, the game is going to automatically launch within the PlayStation 2 emulator. At this point, I would recommend switching your device to landscape mode as it allows for much better gameplay. Quit playing those stupid video games, boy. I want to watch TV. And as you can see, you have all of the normal controls of your PlayStation 2 controller. So let's just start a quick game so I can show you that everything is working fine. Now, depending on the game you're playing and how powerful your Android phone or tablet is, you might experience some lag. If this happens to you, then you should play around with some of the options in the emulator. We're at your service. Warp speed. If you want to save at any point during the game, you can just click on the pause icon on the top right, select save state, and then choose one of the empty slots. To load the game, just click on the pause icon again, select load state, and then select one of the saved slots. You can add as many PlayStation 2 games as you want to this folder that we created over here and the emulator reinstalled should be able to run most of them. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. I'll see you all next time.